Hello. Hey, what's poppin' people? It's Dante. So today I'm out here on Market Street. Yeah, I'm just walking around with my liquid death mountain water. I, uh... Yeah, I think that small cameras, they have to be the future. This GoPro mini in my hand, yeah, this is all you need to make video. I mean, who needs a camera camera? Like, you don't need a Canon or a Nikon or a Leica or whatever, a Fuji. I think that the Ricoh is great. You know, it can hold, you can, hey, look at it. You can't even see it, right? You know, it's a great camera because it's so small. Like when I'm just drinking my water, yeah, you can't even tell that I have the camera in my hand. So if you're shooting street, you can juggle things around and you can hold both things in both hands and make pictures freely or, or record things freely with your GoPro in the other hand. Um, obviously, I can't triple task with my uh, water GoPro and my camera, but I can hold the, the water in this hand and still do it, right? <laughs> Maybe it's possible, look. But that's the point, right? I can drink my water, I can make a video, and I can make a killer composition with the click of a button if I wanted to, right? I can go ahead and flick my wrist and wave my magic wand. I say espeliamos when I make a picture nowadays, you know, it's magic when you get the Ricoh GR3 or the GR3X in high contrast black and white mode. Yeah, everything becomes beautiful and artistic, and I think that going forward, that's definitely the goal. As artificial intelligence continues making more and more realistic imagery, it's important for us to transcend what a photograph is, and I think by approaching it in this way, using high contrast black and white, small JPEG files, yeah, why not, you know, I think it's an interesting thing to consider. I think going forward, photographing this way is going to be the way for me who knows uh maybe there's gonna be newer and better cameras that come out that surpa surpass the rico and uh maybe it can be even smaller you know i think that this camera could get smaller why not you don't need a viewfinder right you don't need an electronic or an optical viewfinder you know those slr rangefinder style cameras whatever it is it doesn't matter you really don't when I was using my X-Pro3, I was more inclined on pulling that screen down and trying to get different compositions using that drop-down screen, you know? I think that uh, small camera tech, yeah, it's gotta be the future. There's no way that people are gonna lug around all this expensive, crazy equipment to events to make photos. I, I was doing f uh, photo work for the city using my iPhone. You know, you don't need any cameras. That's the funniest part. When you pull up to an event with your iPhone, yeah, you can get way more interesting shots and quicker sh quicker shots. You can do video, photo, all at the same time. Panoramas, portrait mode, like you can do everything with that one iPhone device, you know? Which is kind of cool to me and uh, I mean really, where are the photos winding up anyway when you work for a client or something? They're going on a fucking Instagram page. So it doesn't really matter anymore when you think about it. Uh, and uh, yeah, the reason for the small JPEG files is because I like to think of the photo is something that'll last longer now, right? The raw files, they're not gonna last, you know? I try to get them off of my iPads at this point. I only have a, a thousand to two thousand of the raw files saved now because there's no point. I mean, seriously, they take up so much space. It's such bullshit. And uh, small JPEG is the future. Small cameras are the future. You know, maybe I'll soon start going into the extra small JPEG mode because almost, honestly, you can wind up using softwares in the future to just blow up your files and make the, make the resolution better and bigger. You can do it. You, can do that now right so we can transcend what photographers use in terms of equipment and gear and uh, yeah just ignore all the traditions May maybe it's best to learn them, learn them at first but uh, yeah after traveling the world photographing in a traditional way for uh, the past decade yeah I'm, I'm, I'm ready to move on and start start creating some uh, you know timeless works of art God did it you know God did it hey man Good to see you, bro. Thanks, man. Oh, I was about to say, man, I ain't gonna try to catch y'all with drinking this shit. What? This is the water? Yeah, I know, I know. I just looked at bro, it. Bro, what's kind of funny is people always give me shit. Like, I go into the mall and the security try to kick me out because I'm drinking. I'm like, yo, look, I got my Bible in the other hand. You know, like, I got the Bible in one hand and the water in the other. What are you, you know? You look at fast, you mad as shit. Is that your dog? They trying to purposely get bit by these dogs. Yo, your dog is a beast, yo. That's a real dog. You know, you know, a lot of people like a little, 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 it's not the it's not the you got a dog. You know, dogs were used for hunting and defense. That's what dogs are for. This is a, this is a dog. You might as well muzzle it up. You might as well muzzle it up. Because these cops, you don't know what they're going to do. 
You might as well have a muzzle just in case. Just in case. No, no, because you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of dogs. I'm, I'm afraid of dogs, bro. This dog not coming past me. But believe me, I understand why you got it. You, you, you got, you got, a, you got a real dog. That's, that's a real dog. That's a real dog. What, what kind of dog is it? German Shepherd. A German Shepherd, right? Yo, that's from the movie, right? Uh, I Am Legend. Yo, I think Will Smith had the, yeah. he had the German Shepherd. Oh, he, uh, he was the last he was the last guy on earth, I think. I think that's what he had a German Shepherd. The end of the world, bro. That's my the end of the world. That's my but that's my heart. Have a good one. God did it. Let me get a picture and uh I like the sign, God did it. <laughs> hey, God did everything. God put me here on this earth. God put those flowers over there. You know, he gave us the soil. He gave us the sun. He gave us the stars, the moon, the tides, the water. And uh, yeah, we're just here to use the resources, right? What God gave us, and I'm very grateful. <laughs> yes, I am an emotional man and a fighter. Do you think there would be any cities if there were not men like me to fight for them? If elected, I'll be the best damn mayor Philadelphia ever had. Richard Dilworth, 1955. So that's what this park is named after, Richard Dilworth. Wow. Maybe this man was the man. You know, he seems like it when I read this quote. We need more men like that. Seriously. That's a pretty damn good quote right there, Richard Dilworth. I'm glad that I stumbled across this. I've never noticed this. Each day I notice new things in the city. You know what I mean? It's fun. Uh, yeah. Small camera, small JPEG, GoPro mini, Rico GRs. Yeah, this is the future.